Hey everyone, DQ here, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be showcasing the Survivalist mod. Now, this mod uh, works for 1.9.4, and uh, it changes the way that you start out regular Minecraft. And if you ever thought Minecraft was too easy at the beginning, well, this changes all that. So uh, let's get started with the uh, showcase. Now, what's the first thing you're going to do in any new Minecraft world? You're going to go punch some wood. And after punching the wood, you're probably going to craft yourself a crafting bench. Now, the crafting tip bench isn't changed so you can craft yourself one of these however when you uh go ahead and try to make some sticks this is what happens you can't make any sticks the sticks are no longer a thing now the only way currently in this mod is to, to get sticks is to go punch a bunch of leaves to get a lot of saplings and saplings turn into sticks as you can see here this is how you make your sticks um, that's the only way you can make sticks you can also shear leaves and turn leaf blocks into sticks, but pretty much that's your only stick making method. Um, so after doing that, we are going to make our first pickaxe. And from that point onwards, you're probably going to skip making a wooden sword, axe, shovel, so on and so forth, and uh, get right into stone. However, as you can see, the stone has dropped four rocks. So that's what's been changed in this mod. Um, Every time you mine stone, you get rocks. You don't get stone, you can't craft anything with this stone. If you try to craft it in a 4x4 here, you get yourself a piece of gravel, which again is pretty useless. And if you try to make yourself a pick or a sword or anything using this configuration, it's not going to work. No, the, uh, the key that you need is you need to go find yourself some clay. And uh, clay is pretty easy to find, to find in the bottom of rivers and ponds and things like that. But uh, what you're going to do is take the rock that you have mined up, um, put the rock in this position here, take a piece of clay, and there you go. You got yourself one cobblestone. So eight rock, which is essentially what two cobblestone used to be, with a piece of clay, now makes one cobblestone. And this is the way that you are going to have to craft your. Uh, stone tools and anything stone related like a furnace or um, just building blocks or whatever and uh, yeah this this definitely makes uh, survival a lot harder so there's kind of like a wood age stone age middle age and so on and so forth so with this mod you basically need double the amount of cobblestone just to make one furnace but you have to mix it in with clay so uh yeah, that makes it interesting, and I uh, loaded this mod up in a single player world uh, to test it out myself, see how it plays through and everything, and it took me a good 20 minutes to get full stone tools and everything. 20 minutes. Normally that would take maybe one or two minutes. And ta-da, now we have a furnace. And uh, like the stone... The, uh, the ore blocks have been changed as well. Now, the, the normal ores that you can normally fortune, like coal and diamonds, emeralds, redstone, lapis, they fall normally. You just get your normal uh, pieces from that. Okay, so we have ourselves a stone pick. Now, when you break cobblestone, you can see that it has formed iron or rock, um, which you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's different. And it definitely is different. So in order to make ourselves iron ore, to get like shears or whatever, to get ourselves more sticks or iron armor or um, tools and whatnot, this is what the process you have to go through. So uh, one iron ore rock creates one iron nugget. One iron nugget is nothing. You need nine iron nuggets to make yourself one iron ingot. So you can see that this uh, this method is a lot slower, it's uh, a lot grindier, but it's great for mod packs that want to change the difficulty in Minecraft. Uh, I've seen a lot of mod packs that uh, like Greg Tech and mods like that, which just change the recipes on everything. This is a great addition to that. It uh, makes it so Minecraft's harder alongside making it harder with other mods as well. I think it's a great, cool little mod here. And uh, what's nice about these iron nuggets is you can create chain mail, which is pretty cool. So in this chest, uh, no, in this chest here, uh, you can create chain mail. So like I said, you need to take nine nuggets to make an iron ingot, and uh, you can make chain mail this way. So four iron nuggets 
will make you one piece of chain mail, or four iron ingots will make you nine chain mail. Chain mail. And the chain mail acts just like iron armor. So you can make yourself uh, armor this way, which is pretty cool in my opinion that you can actually craft chain mail. These are the different drops from uh, mining uh, granite, andesite, diorite, your standard rock, which I just showed you guys, iron and gold, and they all drop like this. And in order to uh, get the iron, you have to craft nuggets into ingots, into armor, into tools, etc., and so, so on and so forth. Now you're probably wondering how do I get these ores and uh, whatnot without having to go through this whole tedious process of getting the nuggets to the ingots to everything when you're well established and everything. Well what you're going to want to do and this is what I recommend doing um, once you have uh, gotten through this whole stage and everything and you've got yourself diamonds and obsidian and gone to that point what I recommend doing is uh, grabbing silk touch and um, putting silk touch on your pick. Now it doesn't have to be a diamond pick, but diamond obviously mines everything. And when you do this, you get the full entire block. And when you go ahead and uh, smelt it here, you will get the full ingot. As seen right here, we have the entire ingot. So that's, so that's a way around this whole system. But obviously you don't want that from the beginning because it's gonna make it easy just like original Minecraft is when it at the beginning stages of your world. It's, super easy. Um, this is a drying rack from the survivals mod and the way you craft it is you take three sticks on the top, uh, three oak planks and it turns into a drying rack like so. And what you can dry on this thing is um, food, rot flesh and leather. So as you can see I have placed these things into the drying rack and it, it kind of gives off a cool look so you can actually see the items are on the rack which I think is pretty cool so if you had this in the corner of your base you could almost showcase it um, like this and as you can see the um, that the, the zombie flesh has turned into dry jerky the uh, raw pork chop has in, turned into flesh and then it will turn into jerky and the leather will turn into tanned leather which again you can craft the tanned leather uh, helmet leggings chest plate and uh, boots uh, so that's a pretty cool little addition it uh, changes the way leather works one last thing in this mod is there's a new enchant it's called scraping or scrapping i guess you would say um and basically it gives you a better chance um when your tools break of getting better scraps from it so let's for example say i'm wearing these chain leggings and they're down to the last hit point there's a small chance that I'll get more chain mail or sticks or whatever based off of whatever tool or armor that you're using and the scrap the scrapping um, enchant which is scrapping level 3 that's the highest uh, will give you a higher chance of getting the scrap back from whatever material that you used in the first place which I think is pretty cool um, it also works on picks and I'm not sure the reason for that maybe it's for um, when you're using your pickup or something along the lines of that. I, I tried mining the ores with the pick but I didn't seem to get any higher drop rate um, other than the two two to four drops that you'll get per ore. Um, I think it's a pretty cool enchant nonetheless because at the end you're going to get some of your stuff back after it's broken. Uh, but yeah that is it. That's it for the um, survivalist mod. All it does is makes Minecraft a little bit harder and uh, if you guys have enjoyed this mod go check it out. It's over on the curse um, site. If you guys enjoyed this mod, uh, go check it out yourself. Uh, the links are down below in the description. Um, down below you'll find a link directly to Curse, which is where you're going to find this mod. It's uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's for 1.9.4 and it'd be great. I mean, it's just like a, a mod pack that you that makes Minecraft harder. I think it's a great little addition. I, You know, I'm trying to check out mods that aren't mainstream like Blood Magic, Harsh Magic, Tomcraft, um, thermal expansion all, all the big name mods that everyone knows about I want to check out these smaller mods I want to give them chance um, in the 1.9 mods uh, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have hit the like button down below and um, check it out it's a pretty cool mod if you want to add it to your uh, 1.9 world or just add it into a mod pack um, but other than that that's gonna be it I hope you guys have enjoyed and uh, and goodbye